What's up guys and welcome to an all new setup here at Limitless Studios TV. On this episode we are going to be talking about our new setup. As you can see it's a little bit different. Um, I've got a software tip um, about setting up templates in Reaper so you don't have to go through every single time and set up your guitar tracks, your bass tracks, your drum tracks and all that. We also are going to be talking a little bit more about what you can expect from the show and that's all coming up right here on episode number 70 of Limitless Studios TV. So, as you just heard, we've got new features for our website and our videos. Uh, the first feature I'm going to talk about is uh, some changes we did to our live site. Um, that, If you don't know what the live site is, it's live.limitless-studios.com or you can go to our main website at limitless-studios.com and click on the live link. Uh, we've got a status update message in the top right hand corner mm -hmm. and um, that's going to be for uh, when, we're going to announce when we're streaming uh, live on there, we're probably a week in advance. Or if there's some time that we're not going to be streaming because of some kind of snow or uh, some kind of schedule problems, uh, we'll post up there when we're not going to be streaming. So you won't have to wait around in the lobby waiting for us. And also below that status update, there's a clock. And the reason we added this clock was because a lot of people are in different time zones and don't know, don't feel like doing the conversion to our standard time zone, which is Eastern time. And so that clock up there is a fixed Eastern standard time clock. And it's always going to say the time it is here. Yep. So you'll know when we're streaming live. Yep. So uh, for the video side of things, um, as you see, we had, you know, a new intro, stuff like that. And that's kind of how we're going to structure the videos. And then also we're going to have a viewer question every week. Not this week because uh, we're telling you guys about it. Yeah, and we're gathering questions to yeah, answer. Yeah, um, but you know, pretty much sort of towards the end of each video, we're going to be answering uh, one of your questions, either from you know a comment or a video response or on the forum. Something that uh, we get you know asked quite a few times. Um, yeah, so feel free to post them below in the comments. Yeah. Yep. 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 And uh, also we have another idea that uh, we're going to be trying to implement. Uh, next week and basically at the beginning of this video you saw that we did the uh, intro and we told you, you know, what we were going to be doing and then the titles flew in on, on the side and we did that to sort of make it a little bit more um, professional looking yeah, and organized and uh, what we want to do is take the uh, annotation editor that's inside of YouTube and highlight each of those titles when they fly over you know and uh, that way you can click on each of those and whenever you click on them, it'll go to the time that that section starts. So if you see something you're like, I don't give a crap about that, then you can skip that and go to a different section. So if there's like some sort of a software tip or something that you're really interested in, you can start, you can watch just the front part of the video, which has the intro to the video, and you can click on whatever section and it'll jump straight to that time slot. Yeah. And I think people will like that a lot better, um, especially if there's you know something that they already know how to do or don't want to see. Yep. So, uh, speaking of software tips, actually, um, that's going to be uh, all our new additions, I think. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and show you the, this week's software tip. Yep. So, here we are inside of Reaper, and uh, this week I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can organize your project a little bit better and set up a template so you don't have to create tracks over and over again. So, uh, I just have an empty project here, and I'm going to start by uh, just inserting a uh, uh, four tracks and these are going to be our four guitar tracks in case you quad track. Now inside of Reaper basically how this works is it's going to create a folder out of a track and so we want four guitar tracks inside of a guitar folder. So we're going to actually want four tracks so or five tracks I mean. So I'm going to create one more and this top track is going to be our folder track. And there's this little button here in this uh, this is a like a Pro Tools um, theme on this thing. So uh, there's this little button here but it'll be in the same place on whatever theme you're using for uh, Reaper. And you just click that and as you can see these four tracks tabbed over and now uh, you can actually collapse these. And so what I usually do is double click on this area and I'm going to name it uh, Guitars. 
and then I'll collapse it. And uh, down here at the bottom, there is uh, another button in the same position as the top, and you're going to want to click that, and that closes the folder. So every folder or every tra track that you insert under this last um, guitar track, um, it won't go into the guitars folder. It'll actually create a new track. So uh, you're going to want to select the bottom track and insert a new one. As you can see, it tabs back over to the left um, because this closed our this orange arrow closed our uh, track hierarchy here. So I'm going to create uh, two tracks, and uh, we're just going to call this folder bass, and uh, we'll just have uh, a couple tracks in here for the bass, and we'll collapse that, and then let's create a drum um, folder here, drums, and if you're using electronic drums or something like that, you can insert a, another track, folder it, and then you can go into the effects of your, uh, your uh, bottom track. And we can just type in, uh, I think I have Superior Drummer on here. I'm not going to load it up, but you could. And uh, that would actually appear every time you open Reaper. And I'm going to create a new project here. And I'm going to actually show you the, the uh, track that I use, or the uh, template that I use. So I'm just going to go here to Project Template. And once you uh, actually create your template, you're just going to want to save project as a template. But I have uh, this here, and it's called Basic Song, and I'm going to click that. And as you can see, it's loading up all my different effects for that, uh, for this template. And under my drums, you can see I have Superior Drummer loaded up as a MIDI effect already. And so I can go ahead and record on my electronic drum set automatically. I don't have to set up all these tracks. My guitar tracks are already all here. Four of those. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got two bass tracks, and then I've got um, two vocal tracks. And so this is just an easy way for you to organize your tracks and not have to keep on um, adding tracks and deleting tracks. Just go up here, click on your templates, and right there is going to be your basic song or whatever you want to call it. So uh, that's my software tip, and we are going to go ahead and end this episode, and we will see you back next week in another Limitless Studios TV.